guys, welcome back to your Irish Footy Vlogs. Welcome to another match day vlog. And this time it's a European one from Tyler Stadium. It's Shamrock Rovers uh, take on Bredevilic, I think that you call them. Sorry, I completely messed that up, didn't I? Yeah, uh, Iceland team, that's all you need to know, really, to be fair. Um, yeah, first leg, Champions League qualifier at Tyler Stadium. Rovers were very good in Europe at home last season. I, I don't know what to expect from this. I really don't. Um, these European ties can be hard to tell, but particularly I don't know what kind of team Rovers are going to have out, who's going to be available and not available, because they've missed a few of the last few weeks, key players, to be honest. And I, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to see. But they need not to lose this tie, this game, I should say, going to Iceland. Hopefully they can come away with a win. Um, the one thing about the League of Ireland is... You know, unless Pats are playing, I'm in neutral in all of these games, to be honest with you. And uh, it's great being that way because you can really enjoy the games as such, you know, that kind of way. Um, unless Pats are playing, of course. But even at that, I think I'm, I don't think I'm the most biased either, you know, that kind of way. But any League of Ireland club that plays in Europe, like, um, suddenly I'm a fan, like, 100%. So hopefully Rovers can do the business tonight. And best of luck to all the teams in Europe, actually, uh, to be honest as well. So... Yeah, hopefully they'll do it tonight. Looking forward to a great atmosphere and we will see you in there, guys.
So finish up at Tal Stadium, Shamrock Rovers nil, Brave Flick one. Um, disappointing enough from Shamrock Rovers, you'd have to say in the night because you feel like they needed to get at least a draw to go into the second leg. Um, first half I thought they were very poor. Um, Brave Flick looked the better side, they passed the ball better, they looked more agile. Um, just more dangerous in general. The free they scored went through the wall into the net, so Rovers would be disappointed with that. Um, but it caused a lot of problems, corner kicks, etc. To be fair, Rovers defended it quite well. But I said this, I think I said this last year, but it kind of came back to me today watching it. Now, Rovers, to be fair, were better in the second half, but in a general sense, you know, a lot of the games in Ireland, um, maybe not as much this season because. Maybe they're not as good as they were the last couple of seasons, to be fair. But a lot of the games in Ireland, they can control it with control possession and stuff like that. In Europe, that's more difficult and they need to be able to counter-attack. They just haven't got the style or type of players to be able to counter-attack, really. Uh, you know, Farouge is a big loss there, massive loss there. Because the two wing-backs, Finn and Kavanagh, although put in a great shift, they haven't got the speed or the agility to give them an option, really, on the counter-attack, do they? Um Coupled in with today, Jack Bourne and Gary O'Neill playing in midfield didn't look fit enough at all. I don't think they were fit enough. So two players in midfield who really weren't fit enough. I think Gaffney, as usual, tried hard up front. But he'd be disappointed um, that he won a free kick. And he just gave the ball straight away to a Bredevick player. And um, that led to the, the free kick that led to the goal. As such little things like that, you know. Small margins, but big things. Um, Kevin had a great chance though in the second half, did he on his right? Didn't he on his right foot? And uh, you know, Kenny, I thought them well when he came on. He, he gave them a bit of pace. Um, something they really, really lack in these games. That bit of pace in general and agility in certain areas of the pitch. Um, because it's very hard to control these these games. Like in the first half, they played tried to play from the back an awful lot and kept getting themselves into trouble. To be honest, um, that changed a little bit in the second half tactically. I think, but. Looks disappointing results. Um, they're not out of it by any means. You scored the first goal over there, and you're right back in it. But it's just an observation I have. But yeah, let me know what you think of the comments, Shamrock Rovers fans. Any fans have watched the game? Let me know what you think. Um, and my thoughts in general. And um, we'll see you later. Subscribe and good luck.